Welcome to Milwaukee Studios where we help you guys find the video editor for you. So in this video we're going to be talking about the difference in between node and layer base and if you're a beginner which one should you pick. So basically with a node base you're having a flow chart basically in between your inputs to your outputs and everything in between is how it's being composited together. Meanwhile in a layer base you're seeing the bottom, middle, top, you're just seeing the layer system of how the composite would go together. So both systems are really good. Layer base typically has your sizing and everything just automatically on it. Most of the really basic effects are on there. And then you just drag and drop the different effects you want for that clip. And if you do like a blend mode or something like that, typically it will affect the layer under it because of how it compositing it together. Meanwhile, in a node base, you can see everything together. You can choose exactly how it goes from start to end and how it's being compositive, which is super useful if you're more of a professional and you're really wanting full control over specific things. I really would recommend this to you if you guys were wanting that. But it's also a little bit slower and if you guys are just trying to make nice quick videos, I would really recommend going to the layer system. The layer system is really what I've been using typically and I'm starting to get used to the node base system because of all of 0.2 which I've been making tutorials on. But basically layer based is just very very simple. If you're a beginner it's it's not that hard to pick up. There's so many different tutorials on it. Nodebase has a lot of tutorials too, but typically it's a little more, more complicated. If you guys are wanting to start out, I would really recommend the timeline version unless you are wanting to go into more of the professional industry. It looks like we're starting to go more into the zone of Nodebase, but this is mainly because of Resolve and I'm seeing a lot of other smaller video editors even that are saying that they're going professional like all of 0.2 for instance had a huge update which allows node-based compositing and it completely revamped it into node-based compositing for it. So I can see that the industry looks like it's really wanting to go for node-based if you're the professional, but if you're wanting to make nice quick videos, I would go with the timeline-based. But besides that, hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more videos like these, click this playlist over here about all of the different little things you need to know if you're starting out with video editing. Also, click this video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And until next time, guys, keep creating.